Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello. I'm a little bit shocked today, for obvious reasons. I come into it, I heard some banging. I'm walking past on landing, and I, and I heard some banging. And I, 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 I noticed it was coming from workshop. I walked into the workshop and Budget Bill, Budget Bill was sat in me chair. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm putting splits on your stocking nine. Oh, it was going to be video nine. Oh. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Pull yourselves together. Video number nine. Budget Bill's not allowed in unless I'm in with him. In fact, between me and you and the three people that's watching these videos, <laughs> I am budget, Bill. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so where did you get from last time? You see, I've formatted my PC, I've got all new software on Adele, me and Adele are getting on so well, we might even get married, me and Adele. I love my new Adele. And a uh, new internet provider as well comes under the slight bracket of slug. But it, it, it's not right. It's reliable. It's reliable. It's allowing all this data to come to you YouTubers. Live and direct. So where were we last time? Well, uh, FM, FM receive were slightly out. Well, I can tell you they were. I had to adjust Fred here. <coughs> the FM uh, band uh, offset here. And bring him 2k down, I think, to bring him onto tune. What was stopping him from transmitting? What? Why were transmitter breaking down in this area? Well, of course, it was the 2SA1012 regulator. Very common, 148s as well as all radios that use that regulator. They're a bit underpowered, but I still like to use them. And um, 2SA1012 exhibit 7229 Could you repeat the number, lads, and then I know that you've got that number right. 2SA1012. He died, right? He died. And uh, sometimes when he dies, he damages other trannies in the same area, you know. And uh, and also, if he dies in, in, like, for example, a shortened state, where you don't have any carrier power. If you, if, if you, any of you guys have got a radio that's doing twice the power on AM or FM, and um, and you've got no regulation, it won't turn up and down. There's something wrong in there, and you can't run it like that because all this uh, will get really upset very quick and it will die. Um, <clears throat> and also, you'll have no AM audio. Uh, no, uh, no AM audio will be produced because there'll be too much carrier being produced to modulate the carrier. Okay, so uh, when I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go down a full tune-up procedure with you a lot, guys, because it's all there in the manual. I do have a slightly different way of setting uh, SSB offsets up to the manual, and I don't think it'd be clever really for me to show you that because. It, it could be wrong, but it's my way of doing it. I do get them perfectly on frequency, but I, I, I'm trying to look for body. It's not just frequency, I'm trying to look for body in audio. And I can tell you folks, right, that I, I did reset the bias, of course, and we've been through all the fundamentals, making sure that it's, uh, it's ALC is not going over 12 or 13 watts or something at 15 watts. <coughs> and, um, and it's, you know, it's doing about I don't know, about four and a half, five watts carrier AM and FM. Everywhere it goes, it gets flowered reports, and it should do. It's a stock of nine, that's what it should be doing. And uh, and it does do. And it's on its own regulator now, look. Can you see it there, look? It's just on its own regulator, and I've worked it... Uh, as you should do when you're messing with the radio, you should uh, make sure... Uh, not just the test equipment says it's happy, but... Um, but everybody else on the radio says it's happy. Gets flowered reports. My little FDX. Anyway, uh, on the next videos, we're going to get closer and we're going to tidy it up. Okay? I'm going to tidy it all up and that's what we're going to be showing. A little bit of soldering on the next videos, okay? Uh, but uh, for this video, I thought I'd just be telling you what's going on there. And that now, it, as far as I'm concerned, it is 100% as happy as Larry. It just wants cosmetically, cosmetically, okay? That's the next video, exhibit 229. Hey, we've got dummy load on. Now we're into antenna. <laughs> I have dummy on. Shane. Shane and Alan.
he's a good lad is Alan he's a really good lad is Alan and Shane is as well they're all good set of lads round by me anyway how about this exhibit 229-446-700-110 it came to me yesterday it came to me yesterday I know what you're thinking you're thinking God, he's had an hard life hasn't he he has had an hard life he's 30 odd year old as you all know usual problems Round and around and around and around and around, and around. you know, easily. Look, look, can you see the telltale signs I was telling you about? How he goes in a little bit. He goes in a little bit. Yeah. And uh, anyone can put a new front on him, make him look nice. But the important thing is, is what he's had done to him on the inside, aren't he? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Na, 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 na. This is a Mark 1, ladies and gentlemen. A Mark 1, the MB8719. And they're always attacked here where the loop crystals are. Crystal there, crystal here, crystal there. I always mess around with them. I always mess around with first lot loop area and all that. Now look at that. Just look at it. Now put your coffees down. Put your tea down. And look at it. Look. Just look at that. Look at it. Don't you dare turn from that monitor. Just keep looking. Look at that. Oh, hang on a minute. Just wait. I admit I've lost my tool. Oh, I've lost it. I was going to move, move. Oh, I can't move it. I can't move it for you. Would you just... I'll come back to it in a bit. Just wait. Just wait. This is a Mark One, ladies and gents. And the only thing I, I can see that it's had done is someone has switched the Roger bleep. Everything else is a standard, all controls are a standard. But here, they've switched the bleep. Someone wrote to me a bit ago and said, could you tell me how to get rid of the bleep on the Mark 1? Well, I will do, sir, I will do. So, uh, stay tuned, because it looks like there's some more videos on here. There might be about eight videos or something. Making that 148 work as it should. You see, it does have its faults, I can assure you. We're 30 plus here. Yeah, you're 30 plus. Uh, hang on, I haven't switched it on. Just, hello? Uh, you, yeah, you're still 30 plus, yeah. There's some issues with it, okay? Quite a few issues, as you'd expect for a 30 odd year old radio. See you later, folks. And uh, stay tuned for the next videos of Tidying Up Fred. Goodbye. Goodbye.